What's going on everybody? Welcome back. It's Kentucky Blue Neck with you. Guys, you know what to do. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Guys, I hope you're all having a kick-ass freaking day today. Um, today we're going to talk, somebody asked me about prison food. They left in the comments a few videos back about prison food and I said that I wouldn't talk about it. Before I do that, two huge, huge, huge shout outs and thank you. Uh, the first one is JJ Hogue. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Sent me a $9.99 super thanks. You know, they, they it's on the screen underneath my picture uh, or underneath the video where it talks about all that other stuff. These, I actually forgot about that thing. I haven't done anything like that in so long that I forgot about them. But thank you so much, JJ. And then, okay, let me see if I can get those right. CP All That Good. Yeah, CP All That Good. They sent me a $14.99 super thanks. Guys, girls, guys, I'm not even sure, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I I don't ask for anything, but when I receive it, I'm all about it. <laughs> you know, but thank you guys so much. I really, 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 really honestly appreciate it. Thank you. Now, um, let's talk about some food. You know, they always say, you know, prisoners, they get free room and board and, you know, three meals a day. They do, you know. And I will tell you, the three meals a day isn't that damn good. I mean, there is some good food, but there is some straight up shit. And, like, I'm going to talk about a couple of each. And then if I have time, I'll tell you about stuff that inmates do, like cooking-wise that gets them there they can make their own thing to where they don't have to uh live in cafeteria food because that's what i did where i helped run that ticket and had a little side hustle doing that it paid me very well and that's how i kept myself up to date with commissary to where i didn't have to get up and go to the cafeteria chow hall mess hall whatever you want to call it and eat that shit because there is some straight shit I told you about how bad liver and onions are. Like the smell alone got me. And then, you know, it just looks like a friggin' lung. <laughs> it looks like a lung sitting on your tray. And I, I just could, I couldn't, it might be the best thing that you've ever eaten in your life. But my mind wouldn't let me even try it. So to me, that was one of the worst things ever. Um, and then they had another one. And now with prison menus, they're set menus. So, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they're all the same thing. You know, week to week, you're, every Monday you're getting the same thing. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, so on and so forth. And, you know, so you know when you're gonna go. You know, like, I, I never went for dinner, you know, because the dinners pretty much suck. They do. Uh, the breakfast and lunch, Breakfast, okay. Lunch, above decent. You know, I'll, I'll give them that. But, like, as far as, like, good food, like I said, the, the dinners, eh, you know, edible, but not what I want. You know, obviously, I don't want to be in there to have to eat it, but I was, and, you know, that's a whole other bullshit story on its own. But things that were good there every I think it was Wednesday every Wednesday was hamburgers and a hamburger is a hamburger it's kind of hard to mess up a hamburger you know you know you get your bun and you get french fries or tater tots whatever whatever day they wanted to put on but every Wednesday was hamburgers and french fries or tater tots and then every meal had a dessert and I'll be honest their desserts wasn't that bad at all it's just a little square piece of cake you know, and, and some with icing, some without. And they was pretty good. You know, I won't, I won't bitch about their desserts. Like I said, they was pretty decent. Um, the, uh, the big one was every Thursday, and that was fried chicken. You know, fried chicken day, you're guaranteed. It doesn't matter if you want to eat it or not, because that's one of the items. That hamburgers as well, but fried chicken, the majority of it, if you didn't eat it, you put it in a bag and you hit it and you took it back to the unit and you sold it for one dollar which like i said was either 
a few stamps or a pack of tuna or anything else that you know accumulates up to a dollar in cost you know so fried chicken hamburgers decent you know um, their tacos the tacos wasn't too bad because again it's kind of hard to mess up hamburger and that's all a taco is is just ground chopped up hamburger you know and then you get your cheese and every once in a while you'd get a little hot sauce packet or something to put on it but those were the three that I would say is above average you know if you're gonna compare them to everything else Gordon Ramsay made that shit you know if you want to compare it to everything else that you're served in there that is a master chef meal you know it's the hamburgers chicken and tacos and you know the, like I said the desserts was pretty good um, now I will tell you the worst thing besides livers and liver and onions was every Monday night it was I think it was called chicken a la king you know they wanted to think that the freaking Chinese you know cooks are back there the professional Chinese uh, uh, chefs making the best Chinese food around no it's not I guarantee there's something like I had it one time and I took like three bites and each one of those three bites of and it was just cut up chicken breast uh, some vegetables and noodles and I had three bites each one of those bites I'm picking out a bone and you know I'm like I can't do this man I can't do this you know but yeah. and then you know of course bologna is extremely popular I can't stand bologna I didn't like it before during or after I still don't eat bologna like my wife eat fried bologna sandwiches every once in a while and I can I can be around it I just can't taste it you know to me that is just ugh, ugh. and um, you know a couple of things that you could always guarantee or guarantee that you was getting you know three four days a week was their little side dishes and <laughs> it was um, a lot of it was beans and rice and they had absolutely no seasoning to it whatsoever it was just a pile of white and green together you know they was supposed to be beans and rice but that shit ain't beans and rice dude I'm telling you now they that ain't beans and rice <laughs> it was horrible and you know and if you didn't have rice you had beans and carrots you know that was their other big kick is like well we're giving them vegetables you know what else does America want us to do we're giving them vegetables we're keeping them healthy no you ain't because that shit's horrible you know and then you remember me telling you about okay like with breakfast there was set days you had cereal you had scrambled eggs and um, oh my, the, uh, hard-boiled eggs was really big you know and people actually sold the hard-boiled eggs back in the units but it, the same as it was in prison as it is in county you get that nasty ass powdered milk and that shit will scar your soul if you have to drink you know powdered milk because it's always hot it's always warm powdered milk you know it's just oh my god it was just one of those things that you're like do I do I have to can can I just get a cup of water I mean it was bad you know but you know like I said the eggs I'm forgetting something with breakfast there's eggs cereal I can't remember honestly can't remember I'm wanting to say we had pancakes but honestly I don't remember I was I never really got up early in the morning to uh, to go eat breakfast you know I, I do my I'd be part of the account you know, to make sure everybody didn't run away but I would do my count and then 90% of the time I'd go back to sleep because I had someone that was doing my job to clean and shower stuff for me so I don't know but breakfast decent lunch good dinner shit that's how that was but you always see groups of people back in the units that cooked you know, there's a lot, like Mikey Pernan, the, the Italian, the, the Italian, uh, shit, the Italian guys, every Saturday or Sunday, they would have a big ass figging feast. And it was pasta. And, you know, they would make 
a shit ton of pasta and they would have them a little buffet set up. Not everybody was invited to it, it was certain people. And it's the same like, you know, I will tell you, okay, you ever hear me talk about soup? You know, like I gave a guy three soups or a guy gave me a soup, you know, something like that. It's ramen noodles. Ramen noodles is referred to as soup. And everyone, I'm sure everyone's had ramen noodles in their life at some point. In prison, that's, a lot of inmates live off ramen noodles. Like it's, it's as bad as like, you know, you'll get them and they're just that square thing of hard pasta. Well, I'd seen people that would take the seasoning pack, open it up, put like crunch up the noodles, keep them in the pouch, then take that seasoning pack and pour and shake it all on it. And they would eat that, they shake it all up, they would eat those like potato chips. Just the dried pasta with seasoning on it, whether it's chicken or chili or something spicy, whatever. That's that was a big thing. And ramen noodles, I don't know if anyone's ever had the jailhouse version of ramen noodles. Like to this day, I still, when I eat ramen noodles, like I still eat them occasionally. Like if I don't feel like making anything, I'll just have a ramen noodle. And I put, you know, in, in, in jail, you'll put anything you have in your ramen noodles. That's just how it is. You know, you'll put a lot of people, like I put potato chips in them. It's like one of the first times my wife ever saw me do it is I went in the kitchen, I was making some, and then I crumble up chips. Like my big thing was like hot Fritos. Put hot Fritos in them and then you put some honey and some different kind of salts and peppers and all kinds of seasoning in it. And my wife came in, she's like, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm making a ramen noodle. She's like, like that? And I was like, yeah, this is kind of how you, we did it in jail. She's like, baby, you're not in jail no more. And I, I understand that, but the, it's honestly not that bad. It's really not. The best thing that people cook in prison, you know, fried rice. Fried rice, if you get the right, I never could make it right. I honestly couldn't. But I had a lot of people that did, and I would say, okay, you're gonna cook, I'll throw in the rice or the, um, uh, the mackerel or tuna or whatever, and we just all combine and make a big, big, huge dish of it. And you know you would get some because you added into it, but the fried rice. Sorry, uh, but the fried rice is amazing. It's like I would love to know how to cook it. Like I know they deep fried shit. You know, they would like heat up oil and put it in the microwave, and that they cooked everything's cooked in a microwave, and it was amazing. Like my favorite one was fried rice, mackerel, onions, green peppers and it is delicious. Like, I I wish I could make it or knew someone around me that could because I would pay them just to make it constantly because I, I could live on rice. But, you know, everyone does pasta, you know, because you can get the noodles from commissary and then you can get sauce. And, you know, so you can have plenty of pasta. And that's, that's a big thing in there. Um, wraps. They, you, they sell tortillas. And a lot of them was like with the fried rice, they would make uh, burritos out of them and people would sell them for a dollar a burrito. And they sold out quick because this shit is really good. It honestly is. If you know how to cook it, it's delicious. Um, then let's see, there was all time best thing ever, you know, besides the rice. And it's something that I still do my wife loves it and anybody that I've like my mother came to visit me one uh, one weekend and she spent the night she stayed the weekend with us and I made her prison nachos prison nachos is a bag of Doritos um, you'll take onions tomatoes and green peppers uh, summer sausage and um, cheese like they would sell like cheese whiz you know, you get a jar of cheese you can buy off commissary. And you put your burritos down and then you'll put summer sausage. If you have summer sausage, that's what you're gonna put on it. 
you'll put you'll sprinkle that on top of it and then you'll pour some cheese all over it and then you'll put your onions tomato and green peppers that shit is amazing it is i mean like i like i said i still eat it i feed it to people because it's it's no different in there from what you get out here you know the only difference is instead of adding summer sausage like i did in there i'll fry i'll fry chicken and put chicken breast on it and we'll have chicken nachos but those are amazing they if you haven't i'm sure you've had them but they're amazing and you know in there if you can buy pizzas from commissary you'll get the crust you know you'll have the crust and you get sauce and cheese and then you can add whatever meat you know stuff like that and you can make pizzas everything's made, uh, made in microwaves you know it's not like we have a stove or a gas grill out back you know everything's done in microwaves and the shit that I've seen made in microwaves is insane I actually seen a guy make a fucking cheesecake an Oreo cheesecake in prison with the microwave and everything else and what I couldn't tell you the first thing he did I tried it it was delicious I mean it still wasn't what you would go to the cheesecake factory and get but for prison food for being in there amazing um, let's see trying to think of anything else food wise that I'm, I might be missing that was good I told you about the nachos the soups the rice the burritos the pizzas the pastas you know those were what a lot of people live on you know that's what, what is really good it really honestly is you know it's like I always joked with my wife and said you know one day if we ever can I want to open a restaurant that's nothing but prison food you know that you just you order ramen noodles and and nachos and shit like that and it it's crazy because it's honestly pretty good it really is the stuff that they serve you in there that they serve you 85 print 85 percent of it's complete shit but you have enough stuff on commissary to where you can create your own dish and it's really honestly it's good you know I don't want Chad bitch to ever eat or Chris Watts ever eat and I'm not at pure hatred for uh, Carly Russell yeah or Carly Wilson or, uh, Russell Russell Carly Russell I'm not at pure hatred for her yet so she can eat as of right now <laughs> I'm such a dick <laughs> but guys that's the food uh, like I said breakfast decent lunch good dinner shit if you can if someone's in there if they can afford and live off commissary that's the way to go because there's so many creative ideas in there when it comes to what you can make with what you're offered so guys and again um, what was their name I already forgot um, oh my god JJ Hogue I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. The 999 Super Thanks. Thank you so much. And CP All That Good, the 1499 uh, Super Thanks. Thank you guys. You know, thank you all so much. I appreciate it. And once I accumulate, if I start getting a lot of donations, I'm going to start doing giveaways. I'm going to do something that, you know, everyone that donates, I'm going to do something for them to where. I don't care if it's a friggin' lottery ticket or something. That's how I, I used to have a lottery channel, you know, and I would do a lot of giveaways that way. But I will figure something out if we get to that point. But guys, this video, this video is on 19, 19 minutes. I'm sorry it took so long, but we had a lot to talk about with food. You know, I love you guys. You guys rock. You're awesome. Thank you so, so much for all the support that you guys are showing me right now. Um, so remember, hit that like. Hit that subscribe and you all have a kick-ass freaking day.